hi guys welcome and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be listing a couple of things i feel from my perspective you should actually know before you decide to visit istanbul turkey all right so it's like vacation time for a lot of people it's time where a lot of people actually decide that you know what I need me, you know, I need to be outside. Oh, boy, we outside, I'm looking. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, um, apparently, I was one of those people. So, I and my husband um, took a little vacation to Turkey um, sometime in July. So, I'm going to be sharing a couple of things I wish we knew before we actually went out there. So, if you are traveling, you do not um, make the same mistakes or just go in there as a total novice so we're going to start off by um talking about the very first thing we noticed when we got there and it was the charging and um wall socket accessibility all right so guys i am originally from the u.s and then i went to qatar where my husband lives and the wall socket here in qatar is you know it's not entirely um different from that of the one in the u.s and so when we got to Turkey, we just took our regular chargers and stuff. We didn't even take an extra socket and all that. So when we actually got to Turkey and we tried to plug our phone in our hotel room, we got to find out that it was entirely different. Yeah, so very, very different. So the wall socket is, um, I don't know exactly um, what that is called, but I could put a picture or something to show. Um, so the, the wall socket, would not accept my husband's charger type, neither did he accept mine's, all right? So we had to um, start looking for how to get chargers. And mind you, it was the first day in Turkey, so we didn't even know a lot of places. Of course, we don't know anywhere. And so when we got out there, we didn't even find exactly what we wanted and stuff. So it was, it was, it was a struggle, but actually the manager stepped in, he took us to somewhere, so we're able to find like a wall socket where now if you plug that you could plug your phone in it it was a very it was very difficult finding it but good thing we actually did get one at the end of the day so that's one thing for sure you should know before you um travel so you want to make sure that you have like compatible um charging um devices or sockets before you end back on the trip so number two thing that we actually noticed out there in Turkey that I found really annoying the most part was like the transportation um, issue. So getting on public transport was obviously the best option, but since we're not familiar with the system, we didn't know exactly where to get the, the, the train pass or the bus pass. So at first we were using Uber a lot. Okay, so good thing our hotel was actually like in the central um, part, like the central city or in the city central. So it was easy to like get to certain places because we actually looked up places we would like to visit. So we had to get our hotel actually close to these areas. So that was good, but still regardless, right? So the, the, the taxi drivers actually were pulling this cam on people where when you get into the taxi, you're ordering Uber, right? And like, I know from the US, like when you order Uber, all you just got to do is put your address and all of that. And when you get to your location or your destination, the driver ends the ride, you step out of the car and that's about it because they're going to charge you off your credit or debit card that you had already put in the app. So here in Turkey, it was entirely different. So apparently you pay cash for using Uber and, um, so this taxi drivers were then applying the the smartness of when you're using just a regular taxi you know when you're using a regular taxi it charges based on distance so they have a little meter in the car that reads you know how many um, miles or kilometers they actually traveled for and that's what they charge you based off and so what this uber drivers would do is they would actually take longer routes, especially when you, when you don't even know where you're going or exact you know location of like where you're going. So they take longer routes to intentionally make the trips longer, and then you get to pay you know a lot higher. And that shouldn't have been a problem if the Uber system is working exactly how I described it, like in the U.S., where even if he likes, he travels through another country before he gets to your destination. You get to pay 
you know exactly the estimates uber had already given you before you even started the trip but that's not the case here so i remember like when we take a trip we get to a place and then we like okay so how much is it the the driver charges us based on the taxi meter like mind you we didn't use taxi we used uber but he's charging us based on the taxi meter and so we don't know we got to pay and then when we pay of course the leave and then you get your uber receipt guys on several locations we got to find out that the uber receipt was a lot lesser than the actual amount we paid when we got off um the taxi i don't know if that makes sense so these people are charging you the taxi rate with all the trips and all the things they do to make it longer the ta they're charging you at that rate instead of the uber rate so apparently the uber rate they're supposed to end the ride and uber sends you a receipt and then you pay exactly what uber says but they don't end the ride so you don't get that receipt until you leave the car and they already left does that make sense so that's like one scam i would say that i actually noticed i did not like that and there was a time we tried to like fight one taxi driver and guys these people go ahead and act like they don't even understand what you're saying they play dumb and then you're just there speaking english and they don't even understand what you're saying or they act like they don't understand what you're saying and just to not stay there arguing you just gotta pay and move right so that was one thing we experienced that um i did not like at all so before you go um make sure to make inquiry on how the public transport works you know if it's something that's around you because ours it was like literally right in front of our hotel it was very accessible but we just did not know how to go about it at first but over time of course we had a family friend that helped us with that so that is that on transportation so another thing that i actually think you should know before you go to turkey english is not general 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 language out there in turkey okay so when you read about turkey like the review as a tourist um it states that like they speak a lot of english that's not true they do not speak a lot of english especially the locals they actually do speak um their turkish language i don't know what it's called um so except all the tourists like yourself those are the ones you easily communicate with and that was one of the reasons why we had issue with the taxi especially because it's like i'm trying to explain to you like no but why is uber different from why is the money you're charging me different from and they're like something you know and it's just so annoying because you're like i don't even understand what you're saying right so i i felt like that was just something that was um quite annoying but like the turkish people are very nice people at least a couple of them we met one-on-one -on -one. they're actually nice and stuff even when they don't understand you they try to like you know get someone who understands or have you know a little bit of exposure in you know in stuff like that to like help you so that's good um but is english a major major language in turkey no it is not so um it, it's actually a good idea if you actually um go on google and learn a couple of you know at least the basic things like hello thank you and i think thank you was um oh my god i forgot already <laughs> anyway so yeah thank you and some other thing and yeah i think that would actually help um safety 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 was another major thing out there and i literally had to be looking at my side left and right when i'm walking on the street like how i hold my phone and stuff like that because um they seem to be like quite a lot of guys that do pickpockets and stuff so you just have to be careful out there when you're working especially if you're working by yourself um i can remember when we went to the mall of istanbul and we passed through the security check-in they handed us a little paper um that actually tells you about how to stay safe while in the mall yeah so safety is actually a big thing so they tell you exactly how to hang your your bags like your purse your phones like or put your bags like across your shoulder like to the front don't just hang it because it's easy for someone to snatch it or something and then when you're using a, a trolley don't just put your bags on it and then i mean it's easy for anybody to run pick it or grab it and just you know go away so that's why it's advised for you to have your bag cross around your shoulder 
like this like you know when you're using a cross body bag pretty much and your phones you don't want to put it at the back of your pocket or something because of course it's going to be easy to you know yeah and it's gone okay so that's one thing so safety was a thing but i did not feel exactly threatened like you know like oh my god i have to be super vigilant but i was vigilant throughout like you know especially when i was outside um so another thing that i also feel like you should know out like before you go to turkey is like how the cat and the dogs are like they have a lot of stray dogs and cats on the streets i actually find that um i don't know what word to use because i'm actually scared of dogs i do not like cats so um you can imagine walking on the street and you find a big dog coming towards you like i'll be so scared like i would literally freak out but out there in turkey it's not allowed for you to um be mean to these animals like you cannot hit them or whatever like it's very bad and i believe punishable so um before you go out there know that you're not in the u.s where you feel like oh i'm gonna paper spray i'm gonna pepper spray the dog or i'm gonna taste the dog or i'm gonna no you cannot do any of that you know um i mean the dogs are quite friendly they don't come towards you that much but the cats actually guys the cats will come like right on your body under your chair like very very close and that one i don't like it like I do not like it. I can remember once we were at the restaurant eating and this guy was actually sitting outside. Like, you know, you know how some of this restaurant have like an outdoor um, setting and indoor. So he was sitting outside and guys, a cat just literally like jumped up on his table and it, it was just right there, like literally on like almost on top of his food. And I felt like that was just, I mean, I would have freaked out so bad and probably hit it, you know, so hard. And that would probably be a problem. But yeah, so that is something that I find very awkward. And I don't know, it just has no control pretty much. So yeah, you should know if you're not a pet lover, you just have to learn self-control or something before you go out there so you don't get in trouble. And um, like we know, tap water is not drinkable in some places. From the US, at least when I was in the US, I could drink tap water and I was fine. I did that a lot and I was fine. But out in Turkey, you cannot drink tap waters um, in like most of the places. You cannot drink tap waters. And I can remember someone also like a, a Turkish actually telling me that. So you just have to be careful um, not to drink the tap water so you don't get sick or something. Please be careful just in case that's something you're already used to doing. Don't do it when you go out there. And last but not the least, the one thing I actually find interesting is tipping. So tipping is a thing in the US, right? It is, but it's not compulsory at least. But in Turkey, I notice in most places, it's pretty much sort of like compulsory. And for you to tip the people that render you services of whatever nature, okay because i remember when we first got in when we flew in right there at the airport we actually decided to get a sim card um that we could use during our stay and so this guy actually of course he was doing his job i believe right so he brought our sim card registered it da, 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 and that was it and so we're done and we're leaving and he just started yelling tips like he was saying it in the language and also english tips like you know because he had our, our money like the change tips when you want it's the tips or whatever it tips and i was like what did he do that he want us to tip him so bad you know and i felt like that was actually quite embarrassing because it was kind of like he just kept saying it over and over again i don't know if that's a thing for a lot of people but i've also seen a video that actually say tipping is a major thing there in turkey but still i feel like it shouldn't be fussed on people but yeah, that's the thing. So before you know, um, before you go out there, just have that at the back of your mind and probably just have like one of um, one Turkish lira or something in your purse. And I think it's actually, they tell you if it's too small or if it's too big. That's another thing I noticed that I did not like at all. Like I am taping you for your job. Like you're being paid to do this. And I decided to tip you like maybe two lira or something because that's probably all the change I have on me. I'm a tourist, so I don't have a lot of cash, right? And I'm tipping you two lira or something and you think it's too small. Hello, hand me back my money, right? So, but yeah, 
tipping is a big thing so yeah before you go have that at the back of your mind okay guys so i feel like this were the few things that i noticed experience myself and i thought to share with you guys if you are a tourist and you're visiting there for the first time i think these are things that you should actually know all right let me know what were your experiences if you've actually visited turkey before let me know in the comment section what were your experiences did you experience any of those things that i mentioned or even anything different let me know in the comment section thank you guys for watching and catch you on my next video